find the derivative of f of x equals x squared plus 2 over 2x minus 7, we will use the quotient rule for differentiation. Recall that, recall that the quotient rule states that if you have a quotient, like f over g, where f is some function and g is another function, the derivative is the derivative of the numerator times the denominator unchanged minus the numerator unchanged times the derivative of the denominator all over the original denominator squared. In this case, our numerator x squared plus 2, our denominator 2x minus 7. We'll use the quotient rule to find this derivative. Applying that quotient rule to find the derivative of f of x, f prime of x, we get, well, in the numerator, we're going to take the derivative of x squared plus 2, which is 2x, times the original denominator unchanged, which is 2x minus 7, minus the original numerator unchanged, x squared plus 2, times the derivative of the denominator. And the derivative of 2x minus 7 is just 2. And this is all over the original denominator, 2x minus 7, squared. What I have written here is the derivative. Uh, the next uh, few steps that we'll take uh, will serve to simplify this derivative. To simplify it, I will in the numerator distribute 2x and distribute a negative and a 2 together. First, 2x times 2x is 4x squared. 2x times negative 7 is minus 14x. I'm going to distribute the negative and distribute the 2 at the same time. In effect, I'll be distributing a negative 2 times the quantity of x squared plus 2. Negative 2 times x squared is negative 2x squared, and negative 2 times positive 2 is negative 4. The denominator, I'm not going to expand the denominator. It's already factored. 2x minus 7 squared is factored. That could be expanded, but in general, the simplest form is 2x minus 7 squared in its factored form. The numerator does have one pair of like terms. 4x squared minus 2x squared is 2x squared. 14x cannot be combined with any other terms, and negative 4 cannot be combined with any other terms. Again, the simplest form of an answer is usually the factored version, and I'll finish this answer up by factoring a 2 out to the front of the numerator. And that leaves me with 2 times the quantity of x squared minus 7x minus 2 all over 2x minus 7 squared. Inside the parentheses, x squared minus 7x minus 2 cannot be factored any further. I'll call 2 times the quantity of x squared minus 7x minus 2 all over 2x minus 7 squared, my final answer.